So the first thing when I came into Rome, I said to my mum, I want to meet Francesco Totti. She goes, yeah, 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 like dream on. Well, three months later, he came to me and my mum and he was like, listen, I'm opening a, an agency and I really want your son to be our first player. And I was like a dream come true. To be honest, Francesco is, is like a brother to me, like an older brother. Um, he's always there for me, I'm always talking 24-7. Stay humble, that's one of the biggest things he's ever said to me. Just keep your feet on the ground. Because he goes, one minute you can have a lot and the next minute you can have nothing. How do you make the move from, from Australia, released from the Wanderers, and now you're sitting here in Roma colours? How does that make you feel? I don't know, maybe it's just once, when a door shuts, another one opens. I, I, that's how I say it. Like, I think everyone has their own path. And maybe it just wasn't mine, so I didn't want to stop there. This guy called Tony Basher is the guy who sent me to Rome. Uh, he liked one of my photos on Instagram. It was a picture of my Wanderers jersey after the season. But then I turned up to his academy and, um, and then um, he says, look, I got a guy at AS Roma. I dropped out of school straight after. And I just trained for six months as hard as I could every day, midnight, 6 a.m., 5 a.m., every day, three, four sessions a day. I don't think people see the hard work behind the scenes and that. From a football perspective, here at Roma now, you're really settled into life here. You feel that this is the best place to take your football, not only forward, but to the next level as well. Look, Rome's, if not the best, the best you've set up in Italy. I mean, if you look at the tables and all the, the teams, we're all first, and the 17s, 18s, oh. Primavera, 16s, so. It's definitely one of the best youth setups in Italy, if not the world, and um, yeah, I'm glad to be, to be honest. You're here at an incredible time in the history of an incredible club with the involvement and the recent arrival of Jose Mourinho. I think everyone was a bit shocked when, he, when they announced the, um, the arrival of, of Jose, and even myself, because ever since I was little, I've always wanted to work with Jose Mourinho. It's not just because, you know, he's here. So recently, a very special experience in your young career, a call up to the Italy under 20 team. It's always been a dream of, my, of mine since I was a little kid to play, to play for the Azzurri. And um, obviously getting the call up for the under 20s, just like two years above, was, was crazy. And um, you're standing there, anthems, what's that experience like as a young player? I just feel so much different, because obviously it was my first time ever being with a national team and my first ever national team game. So obviously it was something new for me to like get, get used to it and um, yeah, no, doing, standing there with the national anthem, like walking through the airport with the Italian um, badge, it's just everyone looks at you and they really respect you and it's, yeah, it's great. Conversely, if Australia were to come calling tomorrow, how would you feel, how would you react? Yeah, well, I mean, I guess we just have to see because at the moment I'm with Italy and if all goes well here, I'm, I'm with Italy to the end. But um, I mean, you never know in the future, like the next World Cup's four years away, anything can happen, you know, and um, a lot can change, so. All right, let's finish off with just a couple of very quick fire questions. Where did your passion for football all begin? Um, I remember the exact moment. It was like when I could first walk, I remember with, I was with my nonno and I remember just kicking a balloon and I had my first pair of Nikes on. That's my first memory of football. If you weren't on this path as a footballer, what would you be doing? I'd definitely be a tradie with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't here, I'd be definitely there by now. In 10 years from now, Christian Volpato will be doing what? Definitely playing football. Bring hopefully for Rome as well. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.